petrol pumps across India are quietly changing. Today, the regular petrol you see at pumps is E20, which is 20% ethanol blended in. It is part of one of the biggest clean energy transitions in India. But what exactly is ethanol? And how does it affect farmers, the environment, your car and your pocket? Let us break it down. The biggest winners from India's ethanol blending program are its farmers. As per official communications, around 96,000 crore rupees has been dispersed to the farmers since 2014 from ethanol sales, with another 40,000 crore rupees expected this year under E20. Ethanol isn't just made from sugarcane anymore. Broken rice, maize, damaged grains and crop residues like rice straw and sugarcane pulp are now sources of income, turning waste into opportunity. By providing reliable additional income, ethanol production is helping ease the financial pressures that have, in the past, contributed to farmer distress and tragic losses. Ethanol production isn't replacing traditional crops, it's adding extra revenue. In Punjab and Haryana, stubble that once caused pollution now brings income. Maize farmers in Bihar and Karnataka have a guaranteed market and sugarcane growers in Maharashtra earn beyond sugar, helping them reinvest in their land. Ethanol is also cleaner for the air we breathe. Compared to petrol, using sugarcane ethanol cuts emissions by nearly two-thirds, while maize ethanol brings them down by about half. India is now shifting from E10 to E20 fuel which means petrol now contains 20% ethanol instead of 10%. This switch cuts nearly a third more carbon. Since 2014, India's ethanol program has already kept over 736 lakh tonnes of carbon dioxide out of the air, the same as planting 30 crore trees. The government is also emphasising maize and crop waste-based ethanol. These sources use less water and produce lower emissions, making the program both environmentally smart and farmer-friendly. Using crop residues like rice straw, wheat straw, bagasse, husk and groundnut shells not only provides clean fuel but also prevents stubble burning, a major contributor to smog and hazardous air quality in Delhi and across North India. So what does E20 mean for your car and your wallet? For most drivers, it helps engines run smoother and adds a little extra zip to your drive. Mileage stays almost the same. Newer cars may notice a tiny dip of 1-3%, to while older ones might see slightly more, similar to small changes you'd notice in traffic or when using the AC. Most cars on Indian roads today can safely run on E20. Newer vehicles are already designed for E20 and for older ones, India's automobile experts and oil companies have confirmed that E20 works smoothly with just routine maintenance. In fact, tests show E20 is just as safe as regular petrol. And this isn't just an Indian story. Across Europe and Brazil, millions of cars run safely on ethanol blends. France alone expects over 5 million flex E85 hybrids by 2040 and Brazil is ahead with nearly 27 million vehicles already on ethanol or flex fuel systems. Car makers are backing the shift too. Maruti Suzuki's managing director has reaffirmed that their cars, including advanced prototypes and upcoming models, are fully engineered for ethanol blended fuels. Honda has also stated that all vehicles sold in India since 2009 are compatible with ethanol blends with no modifications required. Your car's insurance will also work just like it always has with ethanol blended petrol. No extra steps, no worries. The government and insurers have confirmed your coverage is fully valid. Producing ethanol costs a bit more than refined petrol, but the savings for India are huge. Since 2014, nearly 1.44 lakh crore rupees in foreign exchange has been saved, with another 43,000 crore rupees expected in 2025, helping keep petrol and diesel prices stable despite global market swings. E20 is being rolled out step by step. Any increase beyond E20 will happen gradually with car makers oil companies and farmers all working together to make the transition smooth and hustle-free. Rolling it out in phases not only keeps the transition smooth but also helps India use less imported fuel and clean up the air. 
With E20 becoming the standard fuel mix, farmers are finding new ways to use crop residues, the economy is seeing relief on the import bill and cities are starting to breathe clearer air. But this is just the beginning. These gains will play a major role in shaping India's broader energy and sustainability future. That's the gist. See you in the next one.